is why I tell people that I was skinned in that house and failed and tumbled. Hello, my vibrant beauties. It's your girl, Letty. Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. And today I'm just going to have like a story time. Get ready with me to go absolutely nowhere <laughs> but I did want to plan some makeup um, and also give you a story time so let's jump into it um, I didn't get to use in my last video I didn't get to use the um, dose of color supreme glow highlighter in the shade gold is the new black which is like in this packaging right here and let me show you how it looks on the inside oh my gosh that color is beautiful I don't know if you can really see it let's see if I can do it this way not sure if the camera is giving it justice but it's just nice it's a highlight color, but it's more on the bronzy side. So, <clears throat> so I wanted to use this today um, as my highlight, you know. But we're going to use the Dose of Colors Something Soiree. Hold on. So in today's video, we're going to use this, the Dose of Colors Smoky Soiree. I'm so excited because these colors, oh my gosh. I wish the camera did it justice, but look at that colors. Like, I wish the camera did it justice, but it's not, <laughs> unfortunately. But these are such beautiful colors and I can't wait to like play in them and give like this sultry, smoky look. Um, so, I'm going to get started on my face. Of course, I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Group Primer. But, y'all, I wanted to talk about what happened to my ankle. <laughs> so, I want to say, not I want to say, it happened when I was 30. I waited until I was a whole 30 years old, y'all, to break something. Who does that me that's who mm, mm, mm. going in with the the Tatcha silk canvas I've really been loving this at, to use in the center of my face as a primer it's like it just blurs blur blurs what blurs out porous but so yeah like I was saying I waited until a whole 30 years old to break something so to give you some background I God gave me a uh, discernment and that's for another story time like video to be honest but this night I got invited out by a former friend um, and I was like, I really didn't want to go, but she had paid for tickets to go see a local group. And <clears throat> I was like, you know, I'm not really with it, but I'll go. But then, and the night came, and I was like, I really feel like something is going to happen like and this is for all of you people please trust your gut trust your gut okay because had i had a trusted my gut i wouldn't have what i have going on with my ankle okay but <laughs> that's neither here nor there <laughs> um yeah so I get in the car I take this cute selfie by myself and at this time I had like a 
a Ford Fusion. <laughs> that was my car. I had that car for like eight years. Eight or nine years. That car was everything. That car took me on road trips. That car got me back and forth to see my love who I am with now. When he was living in a different city. <laughs> But, let me tell you. So, I took a cute selfie. Sorry. And I proceeded to head downtown. I'm like, okay, let me just go on down here. Um, because she already paid for the tickets and she wanted to, you know, have me out on a night on the town. And, um, you guys, I'm such a homebody. I really don't be up in the masses. I really don't care about all of that. That All of that stuff is for the birds. <laughs> like, I, I don't care to be out, to be honest. I really don't. Um, like, I'm, I'm the type of girl or woman to go to dinner with his girlfriends like shut down a restaurant instead of shutting down the club that's what we do we shut down restaurants <laughs> um now don't get it wrong i can go up in the club and twerk 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 twerk, twerk you know but okay so <laughs> back to what i was saying so i go down and we have a good time i still felt i already you know when the, you feel like the night is not going to be a good one. Um, like you just have that discernment. Like yeah something ain't right. Something's going to go wrong. So we were up in the spot where, the, of where these local artists were performing. And there was this dude that would not leave me alone. Um, he followed us out of the the bar or out the out of the uh the spot i think it was a restaurant that had like a stage or something i don't even know if that restaurant is still open but he followed us he was following me kind of followed us everywhere that night and i'm just like i don't feel comfortable he seemed a little i'm just saying he seemed a little snatcher up ish <laughs> like yeah that was it was not the business that night so in in an effort to like get because if i would have went home after the the like concert or whatever it was that that dude could have followed me home who knows what could have happened but my friend at the time she was just like come and let's go get some drinks afterwards um now there's a local bar that is like known 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 for their very strong drinks so i only wanted to get one just because i know I can tolerate one and then I'm good and I drink water for the rest of the night, whatever. Yeah. So that's what I did. We went there. I'm glad we went there because we stayed there for a long, like we stayed there for like an hour before the thing happened to my ankle. And mind you, I haven't been back to that bar since my ankle. <laughs> I think it's cursed. <laughs> I said I won't step foot in that bar again. It's not in my ministry to do so. But <laughs> getting back to the story. So we had after the concert, we head down to this bar. And we're in there. And I, you know, I got my one drink and we're good. And. At this time, there's not really many people in the bar because it was still kind of early. You know, that bar really doesn't get popping until like one-ish, maybe. Maybe if you, it's on a good night, but it's like one 
to because they close at like three or they close before you know covid <laughs> they close at three but it didn't really get popping to like 1 1 30 ish so there was time for me to go in and request songs and everything and yeah so going in with my two favorites y'all know so i had done went up to i got my drink went up to um the what you call it <laughs> i went up to the dj and requested my song at that time it was ushers hey daddy featuring plies that was my jam nobody could tell me nothing listen it's still my jam every time it come on i don't even associate i don't even associate that song with um with what happened like i associate the bar <laughs> maybe because it's the place and not the song but so i don't know if y'all know the ledges of the bar the bar stool the ledges of the bar stool are you you got your little place where you can rest your your feet and that night i had on heels <laughs> and like i you know I think I always did because I was more comfortable in heels than I was in sneakers during that time like I can run in heels like that's how comfortable I was in heels because your girl was just skilled I'm only five foot even so guess what <laughs> because I'm only five foot even I gotta make up the height difference somehow you know yeah so i had to make up the height difference somehow you know what i'm saying so i did so <laughs> by wearing heels and my heels it wasn't no kitten heel okay no kitten heels around here these bad boys had to be at least four inches and up always i always had heels that were like four inches and up Feel, you ever feel like you put too much water and no matter how much you squeeze out of your your blender like that still feels wet as hell <laughs> a few moments later all right y'all i had to go away and put on these eyebrows you know what i'm saying because because like you know <laughs> I want to see if I can try out this P. Louise waist again. Because I didn't like it the first time. So let me see if I like it this time. It just reminded me too much of a, like a very, very liquidy concealer. You know what I'm saying? And the whole point of a primer is for it to dry down, right? So we're going to see. If I can get it to where I need it to be. I'm going to put it on one eye first. But where was I? So, I go up. I got my drink. And I go up to ask about my my song. My Hey Daddy song. You know, Usher. Usher Raymond's Hey Daddy. I love that song. You make you... Get your twerking skills on with that song. You know what I'm saying? I go... Because, you know, people that were there... Like I said, it wasn't that many people there. But the ones who were there had already requested for um, a song to be... Like... Their song to come on to. So, I waited. And proceeds to like have one foot on the ground which was my left foot 
and my right foot resting on one of the ledges of the bar stool just you know waiting for my song to come on so i'm just like bopping with my drink so after about i want to say like 10 15 minutes my song finally comes on i just want to get your attention i was like snap this is my song i went to get up you guys I went to get up. Oh my gosh. It's like I can't I can't even <laughs> What in the absolute heck man? Oh oh come through pigment come through pigment Yes hunty Okay So maybe I'll put it on because I tried out like um Leslie, I think her name's Leslie Marie. She's prima donna here on YouTube. She's a bomb makeup artist too. But she did, she normally just dots the P. Louise base on. So I decided to try it. And I'm not mad at it. But you guys, I went to get up. I wish I still had pictures. I I was not I'm not the one to care about like posting life basically on social media because it ain't nobody business but the people that's in my life, you know what I'm saying? But I went to get up my right heel still was caught on the ledge of the bar stool. I went one way and my ankle went the other. Okay. You ever been in shock? <laughs> you ever been in complete and utter shock that I did not feel it until I looked down. And mind you, it took like a few seconds, not a few minutes, but a few seconds in order for me to look down. You guys, I looked down. My ankle. My foot. That was connected. That's connected to my ankle. That was connected. That's connected to my ankle. It was like this. I didn't even know a foot could do that. Okay. I didn't even know a foot could do that. But it was like this. I looked down and immediately said. Yep. That's broken. I felt everything possible. Okay. Like everything possible possible after that i'm like oh jesus jesus what is going on <laughs> and i had somebody that my former friend was dating at the time and a bouncer. They carried me to her car. I think we were maybe like five, five or ten minutes away from the hospital. She got there in three. Okay. Three minutes. She ran through red lights. <laughs> we. I've never in my life. Experienced that type of pain. Like. Put Jesus on the main line. Like, yo. Yo. This is, this is for the birds. This. <laughs> like, throw the whole ankle away that's attached to the foot. Throw it all away. <sighs> Guys, I got to the hospital. And... I was rocking back and forth. 
during the ride over. I don't know my wh why my pain tolerance is so high because when we got there um your girl had done transfer all of the pain all of the pain that she was feeling from the ankle into your hands you ever gripped like balled up your fist so hard that it proceeds to leave nail marks in your hand yeah i had not transferred everything to the hand but they they took me back immediately the security guard i guess we we the security guard he was a guy because he showed up worked fast he was like yeah no he saw that they immediately called the doctor we went back in the back and yeah it was they moved so fast up into the point where i was just sitting in the emergency room just waiting for them i'm like can i get something for this pain like i need something for this pain this pain is unbearable <laughs> like what is going on but i had done transferred all the pain to my hand that i was like clenching my teeth while i was saying it and they were like uh we don't know what's going on with your ankle at the moment we can see that it you know it's clearly to the side <laughs> but we don't know what's going on with your ankle so we don't want to give you medication if we have to do surgery and i'm like wait uh, uh, run that back surgery say what now <laughs> They were like, yeah, because your ankle, how it is, it could be just dislocated. It could be fractured. It could be broken. It could be like anything could be wrong with it. And if it's just uh, dislocated, then all we would need to do is put you under to pop it back into place. If it's more than that, we're going to still have to pop it back in place, but we're going to have to prep you for surgery. So they take the x-ray. And I'm like, the doctor comes in and he was like, oh yeah, we're going to first give you the, uh, we're going to pop your ankle back into place because it is dislocated. Um, so we're going to give you some propofol to, <laughs> to pop it back into place so you won't feel it. You're going to be knocked out. And I'm like, propofol, ain't that the drug? <laughs> With Michael Jackson, I was like, I don't want to be Michael Jackson. <laughs> I had everybody in there cracking up because I was still, I'm the type of person, I can't, I don't deal with um, sadness too well. So I try to make light out of everything. And I had them in there cracking up because I'm like, I don't want to be like Michael Jackson. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so they were like, it's going to be fine. So they gave me the propofol. I was knocked out for all of like an hour. They had them pop my ankle back into place and they had put like a soft cast on it, like a soft wrap or something. And I'm like, why did they just put a soft wrap? Come to find out, the x-ray showed that it was dislocated, fractured, and broken on both sides. Houseway how oh so i immediately had um uh, i had surgery the next morning at 8 a.m or was it it was probably a little after 8 a.m or it was at 8 a.m i don't know but i had them cracking along to the um to the surgery room too because i'm like at least y'all got some pretty toes to look at when y'all doing y'all surgery. You know what I'm saying? I said, don't be partying over me either. <laughs> but I had them cracking up because, like I said, I'm not that type of person. I'm like, listen, if I'm not crying about it, neither should anybody else be crying about it. And a few friends came up and they were crying about it. I'm like, if I'm not crying about it, you shouldn't be crying about it. Because it's really, I mean, it's an unfortunate situation that happened but yeah it's an unfortunate situation that happened but that in no way means that like 
my life is over you know what i'm saying like it is what it is i'm gonna have my moments where hey i'm gonna cry about it because i was such this independent woman that i did a lot of stuff for myself and to have your right ankle <laughs> you can't do anything on it mind you for six to eight weeks depending on how well you recover how well you heal and then you have to learn to walk again on that that foot <laughs> um it was what it was like it is what it is I, I had my moments um but all of that from a freaking bar stool this is why I tell people that I was skiing in the house and failed and tumbled <laughs> it seems like a much more uh interesting story <laughs> than me being on a bar stool just saying i was skiing in the alps and took a tumble and broke something but i was in the hospital for a couple of days after i got out of the surgery room you go into a recovery for however long and with me if i am in the hospital and i have my my um what you call it i can't even think about it my what do you call it my body that like reacts in a way that um my heart rate just jumps there's no way to get it down so they were nervous they had me in um the recovery unit for a, a little bit longer because they were like we don't know why your heart rate won't go down i'm just like that's just normal <laughs> for me it is what it is but <clears throat> nobody on social media would have known that i broke my ankle or i was even in the hospital if it weren't for my little sister and i love her i love her and my babies i really do but <clears throat> nobody would have known so she put that on so she was like i wanted to get in there to see my sister but they won't let me they say she's in recovery and Da, 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 and all of this and i'm just like <laughs> since why you put that on the internet so i got i even i'm getting text messages while i'm in the hospital i'm like nobody's supposed to know i'm in here okay but because your behind want to tell my business everybody know i'm in here well everybody that we mutual friends with so i'm getting text messages i'm doped up off the lighting and for those who don't know, the lighting is serious, especially when it's coming from a dang on IV. Okay, that bad boy is so serious. You be around here thinking you in a whole different area than you in. The lighting is the devil. Okay, <laughs> but in that moment, it was delicious because I was I there <laughs> but yeah so my sister had told all of social media that we was mutual friends with and i got every piece of phone call and i appreciate it because you it showed that people care but i'm also not the one to put my business out on social media that has never been me and it never will be <laughs> but i mean hey that just shows she loved me it's like she do now. With her crazy self. But yeah, so I was in the hospital for a few days and then I went to my grandmother's house because that's where the that friend at the time had dropped off my car since it was right around the corner from this bar. And I'm like, there's I can't go home nobody's there with me you know what i'm saying like it's me myself and i at the house but yeah so your girl broke her ankle mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Bro no also i forgot this 
very important tea. I have plates and screws on both sides of my ankle. Because like I said, I broke, I fractured, dislocated, and broke my ankle on both sides. Fun stuff, right? And I refuse to go to another surgery to get that bad boy out. It's not happening. It's just going to be in now. Until it's time for me to leave this earth, okay? Then I can tell my family, hey, <laughs> see if they can take that out. <laughs> and to be honest, that was almost six years ago to the day that I did it. Almost. Almost six years to the day because I'm 36 now. But yeah. So you guys, because this harshness of this line, uh-oh dropping stuff this harshness of this line is going is being my very existence aggravating my very existence i'm gonna go in to the baked browns um dose of color palette and take this middle shade i think it's called outdoorsy this middle shade right here and blend out those edges right here just a little bit more Going in with Melt Cosmetics Immortal and going to line my top lash. But that bad boy took all of eight weeks. Um, I could walk on the boot for um, after six weeks, but I couldn't do anything else. I still couldn't drive, unfortunately. It was what it was. Like, still had to have somebody drop me off at work. So, what I did was, I had my aunt, who, like I said, we left my car over at my grandma's. And my aunt would drive my car, because she kind of worked, well, she still does, works um, close to me. So, and I, at the time, ooh. I at the time was living right when I say right next to my job it was like two three uh, I want to say two three minutes I would say five minutes away so on the way to her job she would come pick me up at my apartment and then we would go my aunt when I tell you she was a G she was a G okay she made sure I got to work on time. She made sure like I was good. My aunt was, still is my baby. I said whenever I win the lottery, that baby good, good, okay? I just feel like something is in my eye and it's bothering my very spirit. But I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back to finish off the rest of the face and the ending to my story time. <laughs> More moments later. I am back. We're going to finish off this face. Whew. These eyes are like everything. Like. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to go into my Glamour Bronze uh, by Morphe in the sh um, shade Leader. And bronze up my skin. But yeah, y'all. That is how you girl has plates and screws titanium and it made me nervous y'all to fly when it was time to come to fly <laughs> i'm like is this gonna pick up on everything do i need a bracelet do <laughs> what's the deal do i need like something to like identify but apparently, by the time it was time for me to fly, it wasn't needed because they're so in there now <laughs> that, hey, it is what it is at this point. <sighs> Spray my face.
here comes the star we're gonna see how well it does I'm nervous I'm nervous oh yeah That is so pretty. That is so pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah. Mm. But do y'all know to this day, it's hard for me to like comfortably sit on a bar stool that has a ledge or a, yeah, a ledge to it. I will not. <laughs> it was even hard for me to purchase them. Like, and I don't even wear heels that much anymore. Especially after that happened, it was so hard for me to get back into a pair of heels, yo. Like, I'm going to use um, Lily Lashes in Barcelona. They need to be clean, but they look like this. Man, I, I like, st I think I still have a little bit of scar. Like I said, I don't go back. I have not been back to that bar. Whoo! think that bar is the source of all evil okay <laughs> that took my heel running ability away <laughs> so i and i'm 36 this was six years ago i will not i will not in the word of jocelyn hernandez i cannot because i can't it was traumatizing but then again it was like god telling me to slow down you know what I'm saying? Because maybe I was going too fast. Maybe I was moving too fast. Maybe I wasn't doing the things that I needed to be doing. Because to be honest, six, seven years ago, I started a YouTube channel. And because of my own insecurities and issues and... I did not continue it and I actually did it while I was still on crutches and on a little what you call it the little roller thing for your where you sit your knee on and you roll around with one foot scooter yeah there you go I was like who who I started it and those videos are still up I just never got comfortable never was and that's the thing about fear like fear will overtake your complete and utter life and stop you from the things that you want to do and what is destined in your life to do um and I want to say like last night we found out that the passing of Chadwick Boseman, our King T'Challa, our Black Panther, our superhero, our Black superhero, our royalty, our Black royalty, whatever you want to call him. Didn't know he was battling anything and he did it with such style and grace that there's no need or no excuses for us any of us to fail to have someone silently in pain or in pain but still giving you the best of himself through movies and characters says a lot why are you fearing why are you stopping yourself from something that you want to do something that can better you something because like this it took me a while i started doing videos again over a year ago and it took me a while to stay consistent it took me a while to even care about getting over my fear getting over because this type of fear is a lack of confidence you know what i'm saying like You lack the confidence to put yourself out there. That's fear. Why are you keeping yourself from living? If it's something you want to do, do it. 
I can honestly say that even with my ankle industry, industry <laughs> even with my ankle injury, I still continue to push through of going to work. How can I push through of going to work but not push through in the things that I want to do? By this time, I could have been had my business. I could have been doing everything that I said I was going to do. But because of lack of confidence and fear, I didn't. When Chad, Chad with Bozeman passed yesterday, last night, I can honestly and truly say that that brought to light so many issues of mine that I am I noticed that I started to re started to resolve recently and I will continue because like I said that man gave us the very best of himself even while he was hurting even while he was going through surgeries and chemotherapy and everything else I have no excuse none if my ankle didn't stop me from going to work two days after surgery or two days after I got out of the hospital, why should confidence and fear stop me from being consistent in doing what I need to do in order to get where I want to go? I'm going to use these two colors and come back with the completed and final look and then yeah be right back you guys so you guys this is the final look i love it if you would like to let like mm. if you would like for me to do a more in depth in depth <laughs> i can't even talk if you would like for me to give a more in-depth look or detailed look of this makeup look, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you had any crazy story times or if you ever broke something in your life or what has uh, held you back in life from fear, lack of confidence, because I feel like fear is a lack of confidence in a lot of different things. So let me know what you all think. Um, let me know you all's experience in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you all for listening to me ramble with this story. And um, I'll see you in the next one. And with that being said, Letty out.